Hi, I'm Megan Potter and today I'm running you through a formal makeup look for glasses wearers a la Meryl Streep or Anne Hathaway. They always look fabulous on the red carpet and I'm going to show you how. Enjoy! Okay, number one tip for glasses wearers is to make sure that you set your foundation so that you don't get little grooves in your makeup. You can see I've already got a little groove just from the couple of minutes I've had my glasses on before I started filming for you guys. So just take those off. Let's just really set it in place with some setting powder. So even if you don't want to use setting powder over your whole face, if you want to keep a nice dewy look, that's fine. Just concentrate on that nose area. What you can actually do is unscrew your setting powder and just get a tiny bit with your concealer brush so that you can just get it right there on that nose where the nose bits go. Don't want too much of my brush, just really make sure you set it in place. There we go. Especially if you wear reading glasses, because um, reading glasses, you don't keep them on all day. You've got them on and off, on and off. So you don't want to sit down and read something, pop your glasses on, and then when you take them off, you, your makeup's all dented and ruined. So that's tip number one. As you can see, I've already got my base done and my cheeks. Tip number two, though, is to make sure you, that your eyebrows are done. Um, because everyone can see your eyebrows, because they're framing your frames. So let's do our eyebrows next. I'm gonna start with some Lash Perfector. So this is actually used to make your eyelashes look longer and thicker, but it actually doubles as an excellent eyebrow gel. So I'm just gonna pop it in, brush up, up, up. Because I want my brows to look as full and lush as possible to make my face look nice and balanced with my frames. set up. Then I'm going to pop some brow dust in. Just before I do, I'll just wait, give those a second just to dry off a little. Um, it goes in white, but it will dry clear. So you can see a few little flecks of white there, a bit of a chunk there. Okay, you'll notice I've already got my lips on as well. Lips are something to consider too. Um, you can see I've got clear frames, so really I can get away with any lip that I feel that, that suits me. Um, but if you've got red glasses, think about your lipstick. Do you want to match the red to the red of your frames? Could that look like too much? Could that be too matchy-matchy? You also don't want to clash it. So say you've got burgundy frames, you don't want to wear an orangey red lip because that, would be, that wouldn't be a cohesive look. So that's really something to consider when you're buying new glasses. If you're going to get red glasses, great, but maybe that will really only work for you if you wear more of a nude lip. Or if you get red glasses, maybe get some, some black or some brown or some clear ones to wear on the days that you want to wear red lipstick. Just something to consider. Okay, I think my eyes, my brows are pretty dry now. I'm gonna pop some brow dust in just to fill them in. I always wear shade blonde. This is probably our most popular shade because it's sort of a torpy color. So it's great for people with blonde hair, but it's also great for people with dark hair who don't wanna make their eyebrows any darker. They simply just wanna fill them in without making them look too obvious. Go. I'm always concentrating on that tail end. I know this can be tricky if you need glasses for doing things up close. So one of Mandy's great tips is to make sure you've got a magnifying mirror. They're really great if they adhere to the mirror in your bathroom. That way you've still got free hands to be able to support the brow, um, support the eye and that sort of thing. If you've got a handheld one, that does do the job, but it means you've got to hold it. Um, it means you've only got one hand to do your makeup. So that's something else to consider too. All right, one brow looks good. Let's do the other brow. Need a little bit more. Now, depending on your description will depend on, you know, whether you're short-sighted or long-sighted will depend whether your eyes look bigger or smaller when you put glasses on. So sometimes, if we put our glasses on, sometimes they really make our eyes look smaller and other times it makes our eyes look a lot bigger. My prescription's pretty mild, so I can't really tell what mine do, to be honest. You can tell me, ready? Maybe they go a little bit smaller? Maybe, they need to clean, that's for sure. I probably could have done that before I started filming. Um, okay, so. Let's do eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an eyeshadow technique to make your eyes look bigger because I know a lot of you 
your eyes look smaller when you're putting your glasses on. So let's do an eyeshadow technique that'll really open up the eyes, okay? I'm gonna use the Fiery Passion eyeshadow quad. I haven't used this one for a long time and I love it. I won't be using the green today. I'm gonna to be keeping it nice and neutral so this will suit just about everyone, okay? I always start with one of these, our concealer brush. It's great for applying eyeshadow. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get some off the pink and do under the brow first. There we go. Under the brow. Great place to start. We really wanna frame those eyebrows. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the white. So white just here. So white on that inner corner. Now, the white is called Ice Break and it is quite an intense white highlighter. So don't worry, we can blend it back if we need to. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix some of the white with the dark brown. So some of the ice break with the sun seeker, it'll make like a torpy type color. I'm just gonna try it on the back of my hand first. Go. And we're gonna go on that outer corner there. So mixing two colors together almost like pre-blends it for you, it makes it nice and easy to apply. Um, that dark brown shade is much easier to apply when it's lightened with that white shadow rather than going in with a really dark color. Okay. Doing the other side, so concentrating on that socket line and just on that outer third. Here we go. And again, it's okay that we're a little heavy handed because we're gonna blend it back. And you know what, when you wear glasses, if they're making your eyes look smaller, it's okay to be a little heavy handed because we really wanna emphasize the eyes and the lips, okay? Okay, I'm loving that so far. I'm just gonna clean off my brush on a little bit of tissue so that it's really got no product left in it so that I can blend it back. Here we go, blend, 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 fixes everything. I'm just gonna swap over to a little brush. I've got one here, here we go. A little shadow brush here. And just do a tiny bit of the dark brown and the white underneath too. Again, just concentrating on that outer part there. There we go. Okay, you can blend that off too. I'm just gonna check that in my little mirror because I'm blind, <laughs> turn my glasses on. Cool, I'm really happy with how that's looking. What we're gonna do now is apply some eyeliner. We don't have an eyeliner in our range yet, but we're working on it. What I want you to consider with your eyeliner, let's put my glasses on so I can see you all. What I want you to consider with your eyeliner is to make sure that you the eyeliner thickness matches your glasses. You don't have to do this. It just it just looks really good when you're wearing. If you, so, if you're wearing thick frames, so really thick bold frames, you might want to use a shadow liner. Have I got one here? I did. Here we go. Oh, you might want to use a shadow liner. So, if you've got really thick dark black or brown frames, you might want to use a nice dark shadow liner. So it's like almost like an eye crayon. So it's nice and thick and bold. If you've got thin frames, you might want to use more of a um, pencil eyeliner, or like a coal pencil, you might call it. Again, my, my frames are um, acrylic. They're clear acrylic, or pretty clear, so I can almost get away with anything. I am gonna do some eyeliner today. Always sharpen your pencils, no matter what, what kind of pencil you've got at home. It just removes any bacteria. Okay, keeps it nice and safe for the eye area. All right, let's just pop some along the top. There we go. And the other side. We can do a little bit down the bottom as well. Oh. 
So again, just concentrating on that outer third. So just a nice line. All right, another really important tip when you're wearing glasses, which I think is really helpful, and I make sure I do it every day, regardless of what, if I'm wearing contact lenses or glasses, but big tip is to curl your lashes. Because what the curling does is it lifts the lashes up and away from the lens. So that way your eyelashes aren't touching the lens. And this brings me to my next point, is avoid using false lashes when you're wearing glasses. I'm sure most of you know that already, because if you've tried to wear false lashes while you're wearing glasses, they hit your glasses and it drives you crazy. So if you're gonna wear false lashes, don't wear your glasses. Wear contact lenses if you have the ability to do so or just avoid false lashes altogether and go the curling option like I am. Go. I think they're my main tips for glasses wearers. When I'm applying my mascara, I will have a quick think. And I'll just apply my mascara and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I've applied my mascara. I did top and bottom lashes and of course curled them as I mentioned and I've popped my glasses back on. What do we think? Is this a great glasses makeup? look I think it is I think a lot of us when we wear our glasses we sort of hide behind them and we don't make too much effort with our eye makeup and I know that can be because it's tricky to see to apply it so get yourself a good mirror follow the tips I've done in this video and give it a go I want to see it let me know send me a selfie if you liked my video please like and subscribe and tell your friends thank you see you next week bye